This is way more exciting. This one definitely looks more fun. And this just looks a little bit more realistic too, with just, you know, like the fish coming out of the water, you know, the movement. And there's just no movement. The rod is just kind of holding still and he's just winding it. I don't feel like that's somebody would be doing. I feel like there'd be a little bit more action in this. It looks good. I couldn't see where it went, but it looks good. Hey gamers, welcome back to Experts React. My name is Lori Mueller. I've been saltwater fishing my whole entire life. I was practically born on a boat. Today we're going to be reacting to a bunch of different fishing simulators. I am not familiar with this game at all. I do not play any video games. Yes. It's very interesting. That was a bass, freshwater bass. I don't do a lot of freshwater fishing. I've actually done a little bit of freshwater fishing, but most of it has been trips to the Amazon for peacock bass, so something a little bit different. I'm trying to understand what the bait is, what he's using, where it shows any of that. My son bass fishes. Um, he uses a, a different kind of setup, but definitely people do use something similar to that. The t amount of time that it's taking, it might take a little bit longer, depending on the fish size. And obviously, if it's something that is live bait, I can see that it looks like he's using not an artificial lure or something that has action. Oh, here we go. Here's an underwater. Usually, there's some kind of motion, like if it's a lure, it's actually moving fast action in the water. It looks like it's just kind of sitting there. Maybe if it was moved a little bit more, it might be something that was a little bit more interesting. So that's why I'm like looking at the screen to see what it is that he's actually using. I'm not super familiar with this kind of fishing. Most of the fishing that I would do would be something that had a lure that had a lot of action. It'd be a uh, constant casting and constant winding as opposed to just sitting there with the rod, not moving. Looks kind of a little boring. If you were playing this game, how would you be like reacting with the control right now? It's just sitting there, but what is he actually doing? Looks like a, a bass boat. That's like not my forte. <laughs> like normally I feel like if you have like a worm on there, you just, instead of casting on just sitting there, I feel like you would like try to move it a little bit. Or if the game, if there's like options, do you get to pick like what you're actually using as your bait? I feel like the time of bringing it in, like the fighting time might, could have been maybe a little bit longer. I feel like that was really quick to get a fish in. I have seen a lot of people use cameras underwater to get a lot of action footage, but not where it's right next to the fish and the bait, not that close. I have seen where we have done saltwater fishing and there are people in the water with giant tuna swimming around with a camera and they don't care at all. So this looks like there's a little bit more action here. He's, he's winding. This is something that would be way more my speed. It is in a different setting. Okay, that was him catching a fish. It almost looked like he was winding in his lure or whatever it was that he was using. Seemed a little slow, not as much action for a fish being reeled in. Reset throw, use the word cast probably instead of throw if that's what they're referring to. Reel in and reel out. Are they referring to actually reeling the line in? Reel out, I've never used that term before. <laughs> reel speed, it's how fast you're winding it, yes. Those would definitely be things. I don't really understand the reel out. I would never wear camo if I was fishing. That's me. I'm in a different fishing environment most of my time. This is something that's not uh, my forte or what I do. I've maybe done it a handful of times, but I'm not used to this. There are size and regulations in most locations, so if something is not within a certain size limit, then you would have to release it and you could not keep it. And when I offshore fish for bluefin tuna, we're catching them anywhere from 30 pounds up to 300 pounds. When you're on, I feel like there's just a little bit more action, unless it's a smaller fish, but obviously if the fish is a larger fish, I feel like you're gonna have just a little bit more action with you know, maybe it pulling some drag, depending on you know where your drag is set, where it's not just straight coming in. I feel like that might be a little bit different. And maybe a little bit more time to bring it in. Now we're gonna do the sea fishing simulator, which is something that I'm a little bit more familiar with. It looks good. I couldn't see where it went, but it looks good. The line is hard to see. Like I can see the line at the top of the screen, but I can't see it going into the water, so it's hard for me to see where, where it's at. It's very realistic shore fishing. It looks like there's a tanker in the background. 
We do a little bit of surf fishing, again, not as much as I do out on a boat. It's fun, it's just something that the family, I like to get together and do, and we catch like little surf perch. It's, you know, more of something, catch and release and have fun. And there's, you know, they kind of just hang out right there in the shoreline where the waves are. It's kind of fun. I'm just trying to understand if he's bringing something in or if he's just winding it in. Because to me it looks like he's just winding it in. It doesn't look like he has anything on the other end. Maybe because it's a one pound thornback ray. When you do shore fish, obviously, sometimes you can catch some big fish from the shore depending on what you're doing. There's so much variation. But it just seemed not as much action. It's hard to tell whether or not you were just bringing your bait in or if you actually had something on your line. There was like no movement at the tip of the rod to show you. Like typically, if you did have something you would probably see a little bit of the tip of the rod moving, whereas to there, there was absolutely no movement. What's this one? We're back out in the lake. I don't have the patience to wait. This is probably why I don't do this kind of fishing. This one's interesting that they have you aiming at something specific. When I did go to the Amazon and we did bass fishing, there were certain areas that you would want to cast into. They tended to hang out in you know, trees that were underwater, and so you would try to get them back in between the trees, far back into shore as you could, so you would cast or aim to those spots. It takes a lot of practice especially when you're trying to cast in between a bunch of different trees. I know with obviously fishing, it's, it's patience, but the specific fishing that I like to do is a lot more action where we're fishing with live bait and you're constantly working a bait, constantly working a lure. This is just a little bit different for me. I always check the weather um, before we go fishing, especially actually fishing on the ocean. Things can change in an instant and put you in a really bad situation. Bluegill. Never caught a bluegill. I actually don't go out and practice, but I think that it could be fun, especially like this freshwater. I know it's a whole different world, freshwater versus saltwater fishing. It's totally different. I could see where it would be fun to practice, especially your casting, and especially people that are new or getting into it. Casting is very important, especially with your accuracy. Like that, that cast didn't look like it worked out so well for him. So this one's fresh water again. It's hard to see the tip of the pool. I feel like it blends in with the water color. Is it like a bucket on the bottom? Oh, I was about to say I'm getting bored. <laughs> so is the objective for him to fill up his bucket? Did he release that one or did it go in the bucket? Because I didn't see. Again, I feel like this one is very similar to the other ones as well. Like I just feel like casting and just sitting there, there's just, no action to it until you get bit and you have a fish on. I don't think this would hold my attention for very long. I don't understand why he's winding so slow or what's happening. <laughs> that didn't seem very realistic. So this one's very boring. <laughs> Again, there's just no movement. The rod is just kind of holding still and he's just winding in. It's not, I don't feel like that's somebody would be doing. I feel like there'd be a little bit more action in this. When you catch a fish, there's this excitement and there's just something to it and I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. Here come the bugs. The environment's realistic though, with the bugs in my ears. <laughs> this just definitely wouldn't hold my attention span very long. I would have already been done. This looks a little more fun, a little more realistic. See, the action to this is way more exciting for me than the other ones. This one definitely looks more fun. And this just looks a little bit more realistic too, which is, you know, like the fish coming out of the water, you know, the movement. Oh, I see on the left there, it shows that it's sinking. It's usually just feel if you know how deep you are and how much line you have out. But for me, this isn't really the bait just sitting there and not moving is not what you would normally have. I feel like it's something that you'd have a little bit more action on where you're casting and you're actually winding it in versus casting it and having it just sit there. You'd be casting and winding it in. There'd be some sort of movement. Some of the guys have like fish finders and they have like a GPS thing, but it looks like it's a fish finder of some sort. And it's hard to see where he casted to. Is he on a boat or is he on land? <laughs> Looks like he's on land. Seems to be rocking back and forth. This one here doesn't say like, how would you set the hook if you got bit? I mean, I guess it would help if I knew how to do that, but I'm trying to figure out how you would actually do that. And this one, the rod has a little bit more of a bend in it. Like I was talking about the last ones, how the rod tip was just like straight. Like this one, it has more of a bend with the fish. 
I also feel like the rod would be moving. Oh, there he goes. Now he's moving it. Versus <laughs> it's staying in the same place. He just, he just sell it. He just made money. I feel with all of these, it's all the same as far as the action goes. It just seems like you're casting and just kind of sitting and waiting to get bit versus have any action, you know, trying to get bit. The excitement for that for me is always, you know, casting and winding in and casting and winding in. When you're just casting and kind of just sitting there, it just I would lose my attention span pretty quick. There's always that possibility when you're fishing that there might be fish gets caught in the weeds, caught in a log, or especially when we were peacock bass fishing, there was a time where one would take off and it would wrap you in a tree and you would have that obstacle to try and get around to get them out. There were definitely some times where breaking off or losing a, a fish in that way or having your line break or you know rubbed against something that would compromise the strength of the line and it would just break. But there have been times where we have have hopped off of a boat and gotten in the water and kind of gone in there and tried to get it out ourselves. There are times where the bass will get caught up in the kelp and sometimes it's hard to get them out, sometimes you lose them. I like to fish with braids so it kind of cuts through the kelp a little bit easier. I just also feel like the rod in, in this case would be lifted a little bit higher versus like having it straight out. Most people would lift it up. The rod just seems to be just kind of straight out in front of them where I feel like I would have it up more. Well, that was definitely interesting. Not my specialty in the kind of fishing that I do. I know that there are people that go fish and they sit in a boat all day and they just, you know, throw like a cheese ball or a worm and they just sit there all day long. Like, I would have to be having a lot of beers and some good music to be able to do that. I would be bored out of my mind. I like so much more action. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you'd like to see more videos like this, check out Gameology on Facebook or YouTube. If you'd like to follow any of my fishing adventures, follow me on Instagram at Lori Ann Mueller. Catch you guys next time. Don't know the answer to that question because I do not eat fish. I know, I'm so sorry, isn't that weird? I know. If you'd like to see more videos like this. <laughs> All right, sorry.